The Football Association have banned the footballer for racially abusing the Manchester United defender Patrice Everett. He has 14 days to appeal against the decision. Uh, being banned for eight games and given a £40,000 fine after being found guilty of misconduct charges for using insulting words against Patrice Everett. Liverpool say they are very surprised and disappointed with the decision. Do you see a black man, a Frenchman or a footballer? Is it okay to shout racial abuse at me just because I am on the football pitch? Now Liverpool's Luis Suarez has been found guilty of misconduct for racially abusing Manchester United's Patrice Evra. I went and got the reaction of what Liverpool fans feel about it. I think it's absolutely uh, atrocious how someone can be penalised um, with, with no evidence, with no proof. Um, and you look at like, the likes of John Terry, apparently there's video evidence of that. Mm. And we'll just have to wait and see what gets done about him first, but... I think it's absolutely shocking. I don't believe he, he would have done it. After speaking to a couple of fans outside Anfield, I decided to go to the area of Toxteth where there's a black community and I asked black Liverpool fans how they felt about the incident. Well, I'm absolutely gutted. I've been going to the match for a very long time. Sometimes I take my kids to the match. Uh, absolutely gutted, you know. He's actually admitted saying Negretta or whatever it means in his country. But obviously Liverpool and United is a very fierce rivalry. So he, he, he said it obviously in, in a bad you know, manner. He deserves an eight-match ban. And if Liverpool really, right, forget about he's the great goal scorer. If Liverpool wanted to do the right thing, they would sack him. Because, make I tell you, here's the comparison, and this is just how it is. If he'd have said something anti-Semitic, do you understand me right, he would be gone done deal but for some reason right now when it becomes like a black issue or anything to do with racism it seems to have been brushed under the carpet for years now this is actually you know with the two stories okay we can't talk about John Terry because he's being charged today but with Suarez um, at the end of the day I'm not saying he's a racist do you mind to say who someone is I'm not as judge and jury you understand me but the FA found him to have made racist comments now today I've noticed on the news and you know and all these pundits coming out with saying oh but you know uh, he didn't really mean it in that way and what you know back where he lives uh, it doesn't mean the same thing well actually I noticed that they're saying that but they actually haven't brought a black Uruguayan on do you understand me and asked him what does it mean Negroid to Negroid is the, the derivative of Negro which is a derivative of the word nigger let's get it right do you understand me Sim simple as that just because he didn't actually say it in English do you know what I mean if you go back to that country and ask anyone they will tell you so when people turn around and say oh he didn't really mean it in a bad way is that right he said the same thing to the man there over eight, eight times or something within the game do you get what I'm saying he was saying it in a venomous nasty Way. He wasn't saying it with like tapping him on the shoulder and saying, you need great, <laughs> do you know what I mean? You're my mate. No, no, no. He was saying it in the passion and the heat of the game. And that is where real words come out, innit? Passion and heat. So to me, a match man is, uh, well, you know, some say it's, it's, it's hard justice. I don't see it being hard justice and 40 grand. These people are being paid a load of money and these are role models supposedly to kids. The FA and uh, have made the stance. Everyone's now making a, a noise about the FA making a stance but then everyone makes a, a noise that says oh it's great that the FA are making a stance against racism, kick racism out of football. That's not just on the terraces is it? It's on the pitch. It starts on the pitch but you see they've just kept it to the terraces. What's happened now with these two stories? It's now being brought out actually never mind what's going on on the terraces. What's going on on the pitch? What's going on in the training ground? What's going on in the academies do you understand me different story again it obviously shows that a lot of black Liverpool fans feel disgusted let down and upset by what Lewis Suarez has allegedly said to Patrice Evra well first of all if he did racially abuse Evra then he deserves the matches and he probably deserves not to even play again you know as, as a Liverpool fan I don't want to see racist players playing for Liverpool even if they do save eight matches I don't want to see them playing for Liverpool but on the other hand did he racially abuse ever some of the evidence I've seen it's certain rumours are saying this certain rumours are saying that so until certain things come out in the wash it's hard to judge there's no place for racism in the game there's, there's no place for racism in society obviously today everyone's kind of politically correct they're saying what they've got to say they're not saying what they can't say do you know what I mean so you don't know there is racism there but it just gets brushed under the carpet so it is good that the FA are clamping down and they're giving them eight games ban. However, I wouldn't I wouldn't like to see because Everett's done it before. He's accused players. I wouldn't like to see Suarez is getting discriminated against just to get made an example of because he's not an English player. He's from South America himself. So 
I mean, but if he did racially abuse Evra, then he does deserve eight games. He probably deserves more. I also spoke to a local community member who has coached football in Toxter for over 10 years. Here is what he had to say about the matter. I feel that it's the right thing. We, we can support our team, but we've got to support what's right and what's wrong. And what he said was wrong, so we've got to support that too. I then asked if Liverpool Football Club have gone around the right way of dealing with the matter. In some respects, yes, they have because they've gone and they've supported their player, which I think that you should support your player. But in the way that they've supported them, I think it's wrong because it's given the impression that they're going to back him when he's in the wrong. What I think Liverpool should be doing is educating the player about... Um, I, I, I know that in South America it's acceptable, but we're in, we're in England and there's a lot of work going on right across communities to integrate. And what, what Liverpool have done without, without, a, without any thought is just back the player. If this was an incident where he'd threw a punch or done something in the heat of the action, and you, know, you can understand that. But what I can't understand, what I fail to... To, to connect with as a black Liverpool supporter is the fact that they're not saying we're going to educate him. Um, the fact that they're not denouncing racism, that's a problem for me. Definitely has to come out and say something and I think the club has to say something because we are talking about future generations of players but we're also talking about past generations of players, players that have graced that club and brought and brought a lot of uh, honours to the club like John Barnes you know, and, and people like that in the past. So I think it's it's not only imperative as Liverpool Football Club which which has always took a firm stance within the ground when you're out there when you're watching and supporting the signs are everywhere about racism won't be tolerated so for me Suarez at some juncture and to be honest the sooner the better because I think a lot of Liverpool fans are sort of starting to feel a bit disenfranchised with the whole thing like like starting to question whether or not they should support Liverpool. I then asked if racism still existed in lower league football. I think our local community, our local county FA have worked together to really stamp out racism in, in local football, in grassroots football. The leagues that have been involved in, certainly in the Liverpool area, whenever there's been an 